Yo, what is going on guys? The Shooting Star Sheriff is here, and man, it's been about a week, guys. It's 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 been a week, uh, maybe a little over a week, maybe, maybe it's been like a week or a day or two, but yo, I'm I'm playing some King's Raid, guys, and first off, I, I feel like I need to apologize to you guys, I really feel like well, I need to do that first and foremost, because your boy um i i did i think i did explain it briefly in my azure lane video well last azure lane video i had go up which if you guys don't watch my azure lane stuff that's fine it's okay it's cool but <clears throat> i did um the reason for my lack of uploading which i feel like i'm saying that more and more often now than ever uh is because i did just recently just start a new job and i took a few days just to kind of get adjusted get used to my times and stuff like that just so I can kind of get used to the job and kind of get used to the kind of hours I'll be working and stuff like that and I can you know also adjust my YouTube schedule as well as far as like how I'm uploading and things like that so um sorry for leaving you guys in the dark for about a week but that's what's been going on with me um i'm doing good i'm fine just adjusting adjusting to the new job like i said but there's actually going to be quite a few videos that'll come out um that'll be sprinkled out through this week so do hold tight <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming your way but um first thing is first if you have not checked out my um our latest episode of nerd shit with me and keon definitely go check it out it's definitely a blast i will leave that link in the description for that video so you guys can go check out the podcast the podcast is also featured on my channel i don't know why you why you if you don't see it if you scroll down it's right there click it watch it it's a lot of it's a podcast so you don't have to watch it you can literally play it while you're like studying or something like that you can hang out with me and my buddy keon but without further ado <laughs> with that slight thing out of the way King's Raid is doing their, it, I think it started like th three days ago, four days ago, three days, three or four days ago, or three days, three, four, it, you know what I mean, a few days ago, their 1,000 day <clears throat> anniversary, which is really, really neat because they have so much going on, um, as we can see, there's the celebrating 1,000 days, thank you gift, every day you're getting a 1,000 of one of a different kind of item. Um, I think today I got the unique treasure fragments. I got a thousand of those. Um, and then I still get um, a thousand fragments of infinity, which those are really good because your boy has been awakening characters and stuff. So I, I'm, I'm, and I picked up a new character, I believe. But I'll, I'll tell you why I picked up the character. And then I also got the uh, the unique weapon fragments left too. So definitely, definitely, definitely. If you have been playing King's Raid or if you are a King's Raid fan, definitely go ahead and jump on grabbing all of these you have a, you have the end of the month and it only takes a week so as long as you as long as you have logged in for at least a week from the beginning of this month till the end of this month you'll you'll get all the rewards here and there's still there's a whole bunch of stuff going on there's um let me see if i can get this event page to load there we go you have uh, double entries for stockades for more skill books, which is which is awesome. Um, they also have the spend the ruby event, which this is kind of more if you're, if you're like paying more on this game. But even if you're not, you get rubies pretty consistently, even if you're free to play. But the more rubies you spend, the more rewards you get. Which I'm probably gonna end up buying like a costume so I, I can at least get the potions. I don't know about getting the other stone, the, the two stone of infinities. Maybe I can get up to that much, spend that much, but I'm not trying to, I'm, I really don't want to spend that much. Um, then you have the, the double keys to the ancient, uh, to the ancient royal vault. Um, so now we're, now you're getting more gold, which getting gold in this game is not an issue. I don't know if you've ever played King's Raid before. If you're not and you're new, welcome to King's Raid, where you get a ton of everything. And then you also still have the special missions that are going on to get uh, three unique weapons. You get two of the tickets, and then I think that the one for the 50 billion damage to the world boss in a battle. I think that's a random ticket. That's a random ticket, I believe. So 
that is everything going on if you talk to all the NPCs in the town they all give you this uh let me show you if you go into the shop they give you this currency for the festival cakes you spend the festival cakes in here in the store um, I picked up a three-star hero ticket so there is a free ticket there's a basically you get a free hero <laughs> you get soul fragments you can get uh, memory fragments legendary fragments a whole bunch of good stuff to be getting and then if you have cleared all the dungeons like I have I've cleared all these dungeons here um, on the 12th of November they're gonna open up the special dungeon here which by the time I don't know by the time this video goes live the special dungeon might already be out if not um, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see, cause you know how, you know how bad I want to do another video following up, but you guys already know that, like, I'm, like, the worst when it comes to follow-ups, I want to do them, and then life gets in the way, um, but yeah, the festival got pretty cool, um, I, st <laughs> I got Cecilia's, uh, <laughs> I got Cecilia's, um, Halloween costume from the Halloween event, but, um, I think the last time you guys saw my account, I was, like, I'm um, five-star, I, I, I did T5 a few characters, Elias, uh, Cecilia, uh, I think Kirze has been tier 5 because of her event, um, I'm definitely, I did pick up Rahartna, Rahartna is new, so she's new, um, she's really, really, really good for, uh, world bosses and, like, longer drawn out battles because she, like, gives buffs and passives to everybody, and she, like, debuffs, like, she, like, debuff, um, she removes like negative effects from like your allies, I believe. Where Hartnett is really, really good. Um, but the character I picked up for my three star ticket was actually Yuria. So um, I, I haven't, I've, I've never had a really good Archer character. I mean, I've had Selene for like a long time, but Yuria is brand new for me. And I know she doesn't have like the best gear loadout on her right now because I just got her. I just got her. I just got her to um five star. I got her maxed out on the level because your boy has been grinding conquests like a mofo. Um, I have been grinding a lot of conquests. Um, five, yeah, see, 513 of those potions, and I got like 40 more there. So I need to actually, you know what, while I'm doing that, I'm going to do that right now. Going to equip these flasks to my level 90 heroes, and then we are good. So the reason, so let's 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 go back. <clears throat> let's go back for a bit. Let me let me talk to you guys. Oh nope. Let me scroll down a little bit. Let me okay. Let me talk to you about why I got Yuria. <laughs> you see her unique weapon? You see that unique weapon right there? So I pulled. <laughs> I used my ten my ten. Uh, what are they? How oh, you get a ticket to do like a ten pull on the equipment banner, right? Ah, jeez, jeez. Click it, click it, get to it. So I had two tickets to do like two of these for free, right? So I clicked it and I did the new hero banner. Trying to pull new trying to pull dupes of Cecilia's unique weapon. I ended up pulling double of Yuria's unique weapon. So when I thought about when so when I pulled it I was like, okay. Well, I was thinking, well, when she pops up in the heroes in, I'm just def I'm just gonna have to work on her and get her. And then I was like, oh, I can use this three star ticket to just get Yuria and just be done with it. So I just bought Yuria. So I just used the ticket. I got Yuria for free uh, through the 1,000 day event, which is honestly really, really good. And I was like, you know what? Oh, I always do that. I always hit the button too soon. And I, and and that, that's what I did. I did that and. I got her <laughs> because I really like building magic teams except for, I mean I know Cecilia is the main avatar Cecilia's more of a physical type character but I, I will let you know I will let I will let you know right now your boy your boy really likes Cecilia <laughs> probably my favorite you know it's funny it's funny because I did I did a video when I first started doing Queen's Raid stuff on my channel <laughs> And I was like, Artemio's day? Artem Artemio's still there. But Cecilia is definitely taken. This probably boot booted Artemio out of her spot. <laughs> Cause I, 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 like a Cecilia costume comes out and I just instantly get it. I, I don't know why I do that. I just do. 
And then I'm still I'm still doing some guild stuff here. I gotta do guild stuff more. <laughs> I've been slacking. I'm sorry, Brian. I, Brian, I know you're if you're watching this, Brian, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I like I said the in the beginning of the video, full like my new job has just been eating my life so i just have not <laughs> just like it's, i just forget i log in and i do my other stuff and i'm like wait oh no wait brian oh no oh uh, brian's a cool guy he's a cool guy uh, if anyone doesn't know brian is in the guild he, he's the one who started the guild that i'm in right now so so we you know we chill out in here but i'm trying to we we're almost close to taking this guy down. He's only got like 3 billion HP HP left out of 13 billion. Ooh. There we go. But also comp for a question. Question for you guys in the comment section below. Um, is there any other heroes that I feel like I should be working on or trying to get? Because I feel like at this point. I'm just like trying to make sure I'm like covering all my bases. I, I want to build a decent physical team so Cecilia can actually be on a decent physical team instead of like me just putting her in this, putting her in just like my random teams just to be like, I just like Cecilia. But I really want to get a good team loadout for her. And then I really also want to get a good team. Uh, well, I think my magic teams are good because I have Moria as like a tank, as like a knight type character. I'm gonna play with Yuria a bit more. I know she's like an archer. I might replace Miriam with Yuria. And then, I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know how I would do that actually. Like if I put Yuria on, I mean Yuria would go in the place of Cecilia probably, no, or, or, or Miriam. And then Moria would be a front. And then who, who would I? What magic type character do I have for the front line? Outside of Moria. I don't know. Huh. I really don't know, guys. I'm actually at a... I'm at a loss. I'm actually at a loss. Ooh. But yeah, guys, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to keep you guys too, too long. I wanted to kind of overview and just talk to you guys about everything that was going on, <laughs> going on as far as it's like this update, the thousand day event, definitely get on it, jump on it. It's a lot, a lot of fun. And let me know how your King's rating is going. If you're playing King's Raid, if you haven't played King's Raid, I definitely implore you. It's fun. I like the fact that you don't have to pull for characters you pull for weapons and equipment i think that's way more of an even trade-off than always trying to pull the newest character but anyway guys my name is sheriff and i will catch you guys in the next one peace